I'll just record it and we'll put it on YouTube since a lot of people can't be here and, uh, and whatnot. Um, well, first of all, thank you for those of you who joined. I apologize again for not getting the uh, meeting announcement out earlier. Um, I was going to send it out earlier yesterday, but uh, had a had a something come up that had a very immediate deadline. Um, so I apologize, and it, it uh, this fell through the cracks. But thank you for joining. Um, and uh, uh, the agenda is really um, the things I had mentioned, uh, results of the survey, uh, so kind of as a wrap-up of the summit. Um, is there any, anyone else we can recruit to the committee? Uh, plan for additional sponsors next time, and when is the next, next summit? Um, we're probably not going to have all these answered in an hour, uh, but these are things that I think we should we should discuss and kind of see see where we go from here. Um, so just going to go into the results of the survey, um, <clears throat> we had 31 responses, which I don't think is I think is pretty solid. Um, all but a few of those attended. Uh, it was sent to all the people who who um, said they were interested in coming to the summit and uh, pre-registered, but obviously not all of those people came. So. So I asked specifically, are there, you know, did you attend the summit? Uh, some people had said that, uh, that they didn't, but most had that answered. Uh, overall, people had a very positive experience, uh, 8.2 out of 10. Um, I think that is, that is very good, um, and I think that uh, that's very reassuring, and I, I'm, I'm happy with that, that number, um, and uh, yeah. Uh, and also, if anyone has any questions or comments, please jump in. Uh, common answers for things people liked. We asked them. Uh, meeting core developers and community in person. Eleven of the responses had this. This was um, that was unsurprisingly pretty high. Um, this is a comment that we've heard uh, both from community and industry that they they really want to meet core developers and meet the community in person. Seven people said that the sessions themselves were 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 something they liked. Uh, and two people said the community industry interaction, um, and I don't necessarily consider this low <clears throat> because it's kind of an odd thing for people to answer, but at the same time, I think it's good that it's it's even on people's minds because I think one of the things that that I have liked about the, uh, that I've liked about the, the first two summits is we've tried to build that interaction. Um, sometimes better than others, and you know. We, we're learning as we go, but I think I think it's something that we can build on. Um, what did you dislike? The less less uh, popular things. Uh, too many talks in one day, and six people said that, and I'm not surprised by that. I think we all. I think this is a general feeling. I don't think there's anybody here who's going to disagree with this that there were too many talks, um, and that it was too too compact to put all those talks in there. Um, we tried to get as much content in as possible, um, but it, that is a uh, that is always going to be difficult if we try to do it do it fit that many talks into one day. Uh, social event wasn't as good as Dublin. Uh, three people said that uh, related to that, not enough drinks, not a good location. Uh, I think this is also a, also something that kind of came up a number of times uh, that people had mentioned to me that uh, the social event because everyone was sitting at tables, there wasn't as much mingling. Um, and it was one of those things that once we, uh, once we got there, uh, we realized, hey, that, that's not that, um, yeah. And Federico's chatting. And you can also jump in with uh, uh, Federico uh, anyway as well when we're, um, when we're going through this. Um, yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't think that was really all that surprising. So those are definitely things we should consider in the future. Um, and how we address those. Thank you, Federico. I'm glad. I'm glad the, uh, the the food was good. I thought it was pretty good too. It was better than Dublin, obviously. So that's positive. Uh, Not having been there at Dublin, sorry, Eric. Not having been there at Dublin, what was it? What was it set up like there? In Dublin, it was it was we were at a bar, and it was more. Um, there were just some tables to sit, but it was mostly people just mingling. Right. Uh, the food. Yeah, people were. Standing around, the food in Dublin was almost non-existent in yes. comparison. <laughs> there was mm -hmm. so much food. 
<laughs> yeah, we, in we have probably way too much food in Berlin, but it was tough, obviously, with the not knowing how many people would actually show up. Um, so, and I agree with that. I, I mean, we need it, it. I don't think it's an either or. You have tables, or or you just have people mingling around. I think it needs to be a mix. And uh, in this case, we we didn't really have a mix. It was just tables. Um, what did you dislike? Three people said nothing. That's I think a pretty good thing. Uh, three people didn't like the lunch package. Um, sorry, we it was hard to tell what it was going to be like. Um, but three people complained that we ran out of coffee, um, and uh, that's also understandable. And uh, we were told that we were going to have coffee at our coffee breaks, and we didn't. Um, so that was kind of a some, some confusion between us and the Linux Foundation. Three people said there weren't enough depth to the talks. Um, I think this was one was really tough. Was um, when I came into this year, I was I was a little worried on some of the, on some, the fact that our talks didn't seem to have as much depth technically. Um, this is really tough because you have to find people, and we have and it was really I found tough to find people that had technical depth who were who had the time to to create a talk. Um, I'm not sure how we address this in the future, but I think this actually may be better addressed um, through some of the efforts to get more people onto this committee, um, particularly who are more involved in the communities to, to then kind of recruit. Um, because it's one thing for myself or, or anyone, you know, uh, Kathy or Paul or someone like that to go, but it, but it, it means more if you have, have some of the core members of the community doing that. And we have some, but it's always good to, to have more, I think. Uh, others, no or not good enough demo area that I would agree with. Our, our demo area kind of didn't work out the way we had thought it was going to. Um, so that was kind of disappointing. Uh, some talks were too deep. We, we did have one comment that said that. That's a, that's a fair point. Um, not enough community-focused talks. Uh, that's probably fair as well. Um, there were a lot of, lot of them that were a little more industry-focused. Um, and there weren't as much... Um, just hardcore community, I did this. Um, we're doing this really cool thing to solve this community problem, things like that. Uh, need more European, or not European, Asian, European and Asian speakers. Um, that's probably not a bad idea. I don't disagree with that. Uh, highest rated talks. Uh, best practices for NAND-based firmware us using uh, UBI, 8.1. Um, that's not really the, these, none of these are really that surprising to me. Uh, speeding up Wi-Fi was 7.9. Why GPL enforcement is essential to OpenWT's past and future was 7.8. And the industry and community panel was a 7.7. .7. So these are the highest rated talks. Um, the first two were extremely technical talks. I, I think everyone would agree. The, the, you know, that this seems pretty hardcore, low level, uh, hacker kind of talks, um, though they do obviously have industry overlap. Uh, the GPL enforcement uh, is not really a hacker talk. It's more just a, you know, I, th I would view that community focus, but I think it has used industry, and the industry and community panel is, is kind of an interesting overlap of the two. Uh, after after attending, how has your opinion of the OpenWRT ecosystem changed? Uh, Seven point two. Uh, it was between zero, as in negatively changed. Uh, Ten, it positively changed, and five is no change. Uh, Seven point two is positively changed. So I think that is a very good result. Um, I'm very happy with that. That's always something that I think um, I strive for, and uh, I'm glad that we succeeded there. Um, we asked people what kind of session topics they would have liked to see. Um, what is the release cycle of OpenWRT? Um, that's a question that is always difficult to answer, and it's a little subtle, and I think that is a good question uh, session topic to have. Uh, more on the OpenWRT lead split, more on lead in general. Um, yeah, that's... that's uh, that's a fair t session topic. Um, personally, hope that that we won't have to have that topic in the future, but you know that for now, that's where things are. Uh, developers discussing ideas more. What is 
also what is development direction. Um, this was kind of, t to me, seemed to be more of a question of uh, there weren't more of those kind of hacker community talks as much. Um, VMs and containers, that, that came up. Um, mesh networking, link bonding, and configuration management. Um, those are also interesting topics. Um, I'm not sure who we can get for all of those, but I think it's a good idea. Uh, there was one that said uh, how to get involved, how to submit patches. Th this is kind of a, a question that I think uh, is very common, um, and it isn't something we really addressed in either of the first two summits, so I think that would be a good topic to get in the future. How exactly we, we get that, who's the right person for that, I don't know, but I think that is a really good, really good question, and a really, and a really good question to answer. <clears throat> Uh, hidden features of OpenWRT, uh, the example was NAND uh, snapshot. Uh, yeah, the, I, I, I agree with that. There are a lot of hidden features of OpenWRT. Uh, the biggest problem I think we have is that you have to convince the people that know the feature, and that's usually the people that wrote the feature to do it, and they may either not want to do a talk or they may um, just not have the time. So that makes that really difficult. I think another one that we that was there's a couple that are really interesting. Um, the uh, OPKG signing, uh, the stuff that Felix did, um, the talk on a talk on uh, on jails on OpenWRT jails, but that would be great um, if John would be willing to do that. Um, but yeah, I, I think there that's a that's a, a good area. Uh, Kahlua and automatic deployment solutions for the cloud. I'm not familiar with Kahlua, um, but that was also a session topic that came up. <clears throat> um, thoughts, concerns, questions about the summit. This was kind of a, these are kind of general. Um, I don't remember how quite how I phrased it. Uh, development sprints, playgrounds, hands-on sessions. That came up a, a number of times. Uh, I think we all would agree that those are, those are good things to, to address in the future. Um, don't run out of coffee. Fair point. Excellent timekeeping. I, I will not take credit for that. I think that was mostly Shelley's work, and she did a great job of helping us with that. Um, just want to make sure we see the gurus together again. That, to me, that's a uh, really focused on getting the core developers continue to get them involved and, and increase the participation even more. Someone pointed out the US-centric focus of Linux Foundation might not be right, because we are co-located. Uh, more cooperation with Asian hardware companies. I think that's probably not a bad idea. <clears throat> so this was, a, this was kind of an interesting result, I thought. was We asked, how, vo how valuable is co-locating with ELCE? And with this only got a 4.4. Um, and that was uh, 10 is, is crucial and 0 is not valuable at all. Um, this got a 4.4, which is quite a different result from when we originally asked the question of, um, it was maybe two years ago almost now, we asked the question on the mailing list about the, um, the OpenWRT mailing list about co-locating, and people felt very strongly that co-locating was valuable. Now people seem to indicate that it's not really that important. Um, so I, I think that's, a, that's a, something we should take into consideration. Suggestions for location. Five of them said, said <clears throat> either Berlin or somewhere else in Germany. Uh, two said Prague. Two said somewhere in Spain. When we got is somewhere in Europe and uh, LinuxCon Europe. Uh, so there is a pretty heavy preference for Germany. <clears throat> I don't think that's really very surprising considering how many of the core developers either live in Germany or uh, are, are in that nearby area. Um, so that may be something we want to consider in the future is just keeping it in Germany. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think it's up to the committee and probably should get some feedback on that, but I think that's, that's something we should look at. <clears throat> How often the summit should occur? 74% uh, said once a year. 
uh, and 26% to sit twice a year. Um, I don't think that is kind of surprising, but I think it's it's a useful useful uh, number. How long should future summits be? 61% said two days, 39% said one day. So I think there is a, a preference for two days. Um, and I think that's probably partially because we fit a lot into one day. So I think we should uh, we should consider that in the future. Uh, um, but I don't think this result's all that surprising. Additional thoughts. Uh, do one day but parallel sessions. Um, that's another another way we can handle the having too much stuff in one day. There are, could be sessions that people are just not interested in, um, and then have another session at the same time. <clears throat> On the flip side of that, uh, we do it during EL. We, this year we were we did it during ELCE, and that conflicted with sessions at ELCE. Um, I think that that was a a problem. Um, and a couple people mentioned that, that, yeah, I wanted to come to this session at OpenWT Summit, but there was something else at ELCE um, that we couldn't, uh, that prevented it. On the, um, associated with that, co-locating with another conference for free was a bad idea. Either charge money or do it after or before conference. I think that that is kind of related to that. Uh, the issues include, like, you know, people... If it's free, people don't aren't committed as much to it, um, so they're going to be going to the ELCE stuff instead if they already paid for ELCE. Um, or there's the idea that we would just do it after or before ELCE, which was our preference, but just didn't work out for scheduling. Um, less talks, more hands-on, more meet and greet and hackathons. I think that that relates uh, very much to the some of the things that we'd already saw earlier. Uh, this was an interesting one that I, that that would I think is that we don't really um, we haven't addressed in the past is more talks about deployments in industry uh, show the success stories. I think that's a cool idea, um, and that's a good point. Is that there aren't a lot of we haven't had. I think the closest we've probably done is some of the um, talks from uh, folks at Technicolor. Um, but not a, a lot of people have talked about how they're like we're doing some technical thing with OpenWRT, but they're not talking about you know how did we actually deploy this and what happened, and here's why it was successful. I think that's an interesting vein that we have that we that hasn't really been tapped. Um, so I think that's a that's a cool idea. Feedback form is too late. That's on me. I apologize. Uh, great job. Well. On behalf of the committee, thank you. Stop using Google Forms. I would be happy to. Unfortunately, it's quite easy to use, and it saves me a lot of time. So if other people want to take on that task of trying to figure out something else, I'm more than happy to, to work with them on that and have the committee work with them on that. Um, <clears throat> so that's really kind of the, the wrap-up on the survey. Does anyone have any thoughts, any comments? All right. Um, are there any any like final wrap up topics or things we should consider? Um, <clears throat> that we should consider in the future, like uh, or or consider about the summit. I I mean more about the summit that happened. Like, is there any kind of like wrap up that people want to do? Kind of you know comment that they hadn't that they want to want to bring up or topic that needs to be discussed. Federico, you said um, in the chat, uh, what's the most important thing in the end is to focus on what's what's important. And I think the important thing is that we have an event dedicated to OpenWRT lead. I think that's a good point. We we do have that, and I'm happy with that. And I think, I, I mean, I think this year was a success again. Um, I. I is there anyone here who disagrees with that or, or doesn't think so? No, I think it was it was definitely, you know, you're not going to be 
we're never going to be perfect, right? So as long as we continue to improve and learn from what works or didn't work last time, I think these surveys are good. They're just like a post-mortem. I, I would say a lot of the survey results, you know, some of them reflect what I thought as well or mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I agree. Um, the last comment on don't use Google Forms, is any detail around why? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, it just seems like a, don't do this. <laughs> they, their their example was it is it is it didn't look professional and the other thing is that it, because Google Forms is not open source. All right, that was the complaint. Oh, that was probably it, Brad that made that comment. I, I don't I, <laughs> looking at the other other answers. I don't think that actually was him. Um, oh, okay. So, so I was curious so, too. At the start, we were thinking, you know, should we have our own summit on its own or should we collocate and because we'd collocated before, and I guess the difference is that previously it hadn't been conflicting with the ERC schedule, whereas this time it was. So that, that sounds like it came out as a bad thing, and that's fine. Uh, and maybe next time we can say, okay, well, we'll, I think our worries were that we wouldn't get enough interest if it wasn't collocated, but maybe next time we can try not collocating and see what interest we get and sort of iterate, and if that works out, then great. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. I would I would agree with that. Um, and it seems like the audience is very much technical, more technical than I imagined, actually, for me personally. I don't know if, if you guys felt the same. Yes, I would... Um, yeah, I would I would agree that that the that the audience was more technical. Um, <clears throat> I think they may have even been more technical in the first year, actually. Um, although it, you know, it's kind of hard to hard to gauge that. Um, and that makes and I think that's part of the reason that this is this is always going to be slightly difficult. And I think it's probably true of any conference. But open WRT, when you think about it, is actually a really broad topic because you can look at the technical side, you can look at the community side, you can look at how industry is using it, and how do you actually balance all of those. And that's why. But, but you know, yeah, one of the things that we, when we went to, uh, what was the conference uh, in Dusseldorf maybe, where we just sat around in a conference room and talked, and that was fascinating because I thought we got more out of talking about, you, you have people kind of quote unquote on the outside and on the inside of the core team and they just hashed out like why aren't you on GitHub and why you know bam 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 it was a very open conversation about OpenWT and it falls into some of these thoughts here about uh, you know more uh, networking time there should be more just dynamic Q&A time like that where you just bring up and maybe you submit topics you know, our agenda or thoughts in advance just so the core team has a chance to think about them, or maybe not. You just, you know, barrage in real time and get real-time response. But that's something I think we should include in the future is uh, a real, you know, dynamic bring up questions, provide answers. We kind of did, there was a little bit of that the, the night that one of the guys had organized at that old spaceship kind of thing or space station kind of place. There was a little bit of that going on there. There was more of that going on that at that evening event. And just to respond to Federico's comment there, I definitely don't disagree that it's great to have a technical audience. I think as long as you know that that is the case and then you can uh, maybe tailor things a bit better to the audience because I think for me anyway, as part of the committee, I wasn't aware quite how technical the audience would be compared to sort of manager level or, you know, marketing level or anything else. Yeah, I, I think that, that, that that's true. And that that's, again, how do you balance that? And that's, that is just difficult. I, I think what Kathy points out is, though, is really good. And um, just the, just the giving more chances for people to, uh, <clears throat> to get together and talk. Uh, there kind of was that, I know, at the, um, some of the, uh, lead and open OERT folks got together to talk uh, during the summit, actually, just because we happened to, they, you know, all happened to be there, and that was great. Um, but fitting those kind of things in there is a good idea. I would agree. All right. 
Um, I think that that wraps this up, um, and I think we would say this year's a success. So, how do we how do we build on this for next year, or whenever we do this again? Um, I guess it will technically always be next year because we're not going to do it in the next month. Um, but the next time we do this, um, and kind of my first thought is, how do we expand as a, um, so that we can accomplish more, maybe? As a committee, how do we get additional people? How do we how do we make it so that we're more effective at organizing? Um, what do people think? Um, you know, that's a tricky one. <laughs> I think as I think Frederico also mentioned earlier, just make it fun. If we know the audience is very very technical and. It might not be the case that we can make it sort of super popular next year, but if we can show interesting stuff coming out of next year's, like little technical projects or something, um, yeah, then uh, start marketing it that way. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fair point. I'll try to start to understand what kind of changes we can implement next time. I think that's I think that's a good point. Uh, Federico, I think the the ones that jump out is more time, just in general, uh, more uh, discussion, discussion hacking, um, smaller group time. I think those kind of things, more Q and A. Um, yeah, that's an interesting question. Should we should we decide? Do you think we should decide those now, Federico? The one or two day dev sprint or not? More networking. No. Okay. You know, well, maybe maybe we could. Uh, I, I'm I'm still thinking about the just the the live discussions and how valuable they can be. But maybe we could organize it with uh, including a core developer who whoever is responsible for. Like there could be a, a discussion just on bootloaders and securing bootloaders and or or a topic on security in general there could be one on packages and package management there could be one on um, maintaining platforms you know mm -hmm. they have all these people who maintain different uh, different hardware platforms out there and then there could be one uh, where we have the industry success stories and you just barrage them and like in other words uh, kind of like taking a panel down to just a conference room table face-to-face -face chat type of scenario. And, I, and you'd have the different topic areas so that if you don't care anything about bootloaders, you just skip that one. Interesting. I think that would be indeed a good idea. So, uh, certainly also like people asking how to get involved, submitting patches and all that stuff. That would also be a topic we just presented there. That's 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 an interesting idea, um, and I think there's I think it's a good idea. One side to that though is one of the things that we did try to do, and this this isn't a requirement necessarily in the future, is that we have recorded the sessions um, so we could have live streaming, and that was going to be very difficult if we have multiple rooms at the same time, kind of thing. If that's how I understand well, well, we what you're suggesting. Well, we wouldn't put them. We wouldn't put them all at the same time. I mean, they, they. In fact, they could all be separate, spaced out between other more formal presentations or something like that. Oh, um, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, they they don't have to overlap. Maybe things that are completely separate could overlap, and then you just have to have two cameras. You know, we have the, the professional videoing, but I even. Yeah, live streaming, I guess, is a little trickier. Does yes. anybody know how much involvement there is or interest there is in people watching live streams and, and recordings? Well, that's, that is true because live streaming is now, you can do it on Facebook, you can do it on, there's all sorts of apps you can do it on. Uh, so I, it is really possible to do just with a cell phone now. It's not I, that. I'd have to look into it, Paul. Um, I remember it being a pretty, I feel like I, I heard it was a pretty significant number this year, um, mm -hmm. and there were complaints the year before that people couldn't access it in Germany. So mm -hmm. there were people that that okay. watched it, and there were there were a pretty significant number of people on the IRC channel um, for the summit. 
who, who said, oh, I'm watching at home this problem, you know, we're having problems with the video or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, I, I'm not sure it's necessarily a requirement. Maybe some of those talks could be more um, just simply recorded and then posted after the fact or not recorded at all. There's it's multiple ways to do it. All right. So do we? So so I guess my next topic um, was was the expanding of. Do, do are there additional people we want in this committee? We feel the committee would use more people. I'm glad that uh, Daniel was able to uh, was interested in joining the committee. Uh, Daniel Goal, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. He's a um, been involved in OpenWRT for a long time. He's participant lead. Um, he spoke on the, the UBI uh, topic. Um, so that was that was it was great to have him join the committee. He's not here today, but um, are there are there other people we think we need to be effective? Well just from the list of the attendees today, obviously you invited I guess you invited a lot, but um, we, we've we got Luca, but we don't have a lead type person, right? We, well, um, not here today, no. Yeah. We do, we do have it's, lead people on the committee. Yeah, Hauke, is he the only one? Hauke, and I think Daniel Gold would probably be more of a lead oh, person. Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Federico, it depends also on how much help you need. Um, yeah, I think we're probably going to need more help in the future, particularly if we're going to do multiple days. Um, it's it's quite difficult for, um, you know, whether right or wrong, I, I took on probably more of the, of the work than I probably should have um, and didn't delegate as much. Um, so it may be a good idea that we simply say, okay, we've got all these members of the committee, and then we have these things that need to be dealt with, have people volunteer for one of them or something. Um, and I think there are a set of, of those that I think we, we could look at. Um, you know, those could be things like, you know, organizing the hackathon or organizing the, um, the making sure the, the talk, what particular talks we get and logistics and, and those kind of things. How do people feel about that? Yeah, as long as uh, this stuff gets done, as long as we can get commitment from people. Yeah, um, that is, that is or, a difficult problem, yes. Or I guess, I guess then one of your jobs would become, you know, like making sure people are following through with what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe that's, um, uh, what, was, who was, what was it? Sh Sherry Shelley? Shelley. What was the name of the gal who helped us? Shelley. Shelley. She, she was really, uh, you know, I think fun and upbeat in terms of a person who can make nagging someone seem fun. She's good <laughs> at that. I will, not <laughs> I, I will give her credit like, for that. She's very good at that. Yeah. So uh, maybe that type of person when when it comes closer to it and we have all the logistics you have just someone like Shelly who can keep track of it all in a positive way and mm -hmm. cuz you know it's basically volunteers and of course you know, yeah you don't want them to be unhappy about what they're doing but you want to make sure it gets done makes sense <clears throat> yeah federico i think that is a good idea um it could be that we simply have um, committees, and that could be people that are not, I, I mean, they don't have to be a member of this committee, although they're, if they're a member of one of the subcommittees, they're more than welcome to join this committee. We don't exactly have the most stringent rules on joining. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, I agree, Federico. I think, I, I'm glad that you agree with that. I think that's, that's a good point. Um, oh difference between a hackathon and a dev sprint mm -hmm. no I you're you're right there is a difference between hackathon and a dev sprint um, 
I'm more putting those together as similar types of things that you know the, the in person where you're doing, writing code writing code kind of thing but I, you know that that is important that we should keep those two separate you don't want to do the hackathon okay no I think that's, I think that's probably a good point the purpose is important also I'm not sure I follow why writing code I'm not to help a project like open WRT or to win a prize. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that is that is a good point. Whether whether to even have that hackathons usually have prizes. That's a good point. I think that's a good point. So I think that maybe the next step that we can do is um about this is is I guess we can have suggestions on the mailing list. I would ask everyone to give suggestions. Like, what are the, what are kind of the areas where we need to have um, <clears throat> a committee or somebody, uh, you know, or a particular person be like, you know, you're the director of whatever dev sprints, or you're the director of of the of uh, organizing talks or something like that or you know how yeah I, I think you should you should divide up you should say here's all the little things we have to deal with and divide them up and have people tackle yep okay I think that's a good idea I think we'll do that what I'll what I'll do is I'm gonna I probably should have, I'll probably have some time in the, in the next week or so and I'll I'll try to come up with with splitting up the topics that the big things that I think we have and I'll email it to the list and then we can kind of see you know do people think that I missed something do we need to split them up a different way and um, I put that down as my to-do list unless somebody else wants to do it I'm more than happy to have someone else do it as well all right I will I will do it then um, <clears throat> I don't actually have any more slides because I didn't actually have time to do it. I rushed through them this morning because of my delay. But the other topics we had were, um, what was the, what was the first thing? Plan for additional sponsors next time. Um, this is actually a topic that uh, that Art has brought up to me. Is is that um, Purple is is happy to provide significant sponsorship, but being the sole sponsor is given the size of our organization is not a, not an easy sell long term. Um, not to say that Purple isn't going to sponsor it, we're very much likely going to and they're going to certainly I think provide my time. Um, it's probably not possible that we can be the only sponsor too much longer. So what, this is obviously very broad, plan for additional sponsors, but what do you think is the way to do this? Maybe that's some, maybe that is a topic um, we have somebody who's responsible for getting sponsors. Um, what do people think? The, I will just give you my feedback from like the NetDev Summit when mm -hmm. they're getting sponsorships and you know about BattleMesh. As much as I wanted to give money to sponsorships when I was at a mm -hmm. company like Qualcomm that had money to give, it's kind of a headache, right? I mean, to, to do all that paperwork and get it done and so forth, it's kind of hard from a big company. It's probably easier from a small company. So the big companies <clears throat> funneling their money through Purple and then Purple doling it out in summits and funding proposals and stuff like that works really well. Getting big companies to cut little checks for little conferences is, a, is not, not efficient. Okay. So I like the fact that Purple takes in money from you know big business big corporate interests and uh, and spends that money on these summits the additional sponsors you know maybe uh, maybe there could be a, a little bit of you know money donations like uh, what what trade shows often do is you say you know this this lunch sponsored by mm -hmm. blah or this coffee break sponsored by blah so they get the notoriety and they get recognized because these are small businesses that want to be recognized within this community and uh, that would be the way I would probably spit up the addition split out you know bringing in additional sponsors that saves purple a little money and um, and gives them the 
the publicity and the you know name recognition and and the in-kind type of sponsorship and it doesn't necessarily even have to be monetary maybe they I don't know they do something else as well or provide the facility or mm -hmm. uh, whatever no I, I think that's a good good idea the other thing that that's relevant is not just um, you know to for purple financially it's it's also the issue of um, the more sponsor putting purple as the only sponsor on there it makes it look like it's purple event and we don't necessarily want it to be a purple event we want it to be a community event where purple right. of course has a significant significant um, participation because it's something we care about um, and it's very valuable to our members but at the same time with purple being the sole sponsor it looks like oh it's a purple event it's like, no. Well, how about this? I have an idea. Okay, so of all of the companies who are Purple members and who sent people to the summit, why don't we highlight those companies as well? That's it's not a bad idea. Those companies are essentially just like the Linux Foundation events. You know, they show all these corporate sponsors. Well, the Purple Foundation gets credit, but it's really the corporate sponsors that allowed it to happen. So we should highlight every company who's coming to OpenWT Summit who uh, is a purple member. We should show all those members. I think that's a good idea. I mean, we should show all the members, yes. for that matter, of purple, and then highlight the people who, you know, highlight the companies who have sent people to that summit. Okay. No, I, I think that that's, a, that's not a bad way of handling it. Um, that said, I mean, I, I, I do think that, that sponsorship of other sponsors is going to be important. Um, so I, I, I'm not quite sure on the, the right way to go about this. It could be a situation that we, you know, have a committee that just deals with this, like Battle Mesh does. Um, I think they have just, I don't know if they have a committee for that. Um, but they do have some leadership that are involved in the sponsorship. Um, yeah, okay, Federico, yeah, I, I'm glad you agree. Oh, they have a local team that does, They do they do the sponsorships, Federico? Okay, interesting. I'll have to think about that. That's, a, that's actually a really good idea that I hadn't even considered, is that there may be some value to wherever we, host the summit that there may be some people in that area who are not like hardcore into OpenWRT but are tangentially kind of related to that in Linux and maybe interested in sponsoring because it's a Linux related event or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a good point Federico. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I mean, it, you're right, Federico. The it's probably always going to be a few people that are going to do most of the work. It's just the way these things naturally happen, I think. Um. So here, here's what I would propose as as part of the the how do we split things out? I'm going to propose that we add a maybe a sponsorship committee or a sponsorship chair or something along those lines, just one as one of the examples to split out. Um, and we then, excuse me, um, then we just kind of consider, you know, is there someone who wants to do that? So yeah, sponsorship chair, yeah, someone to handle the sessions and stuff like that. Yep. You, you just have to find someone who's passionate about doing the thing and can, and can do it. Oh yeah, definitely. That's always the, that's always the difficult part. Um, so the, the last thing, and this is very initial and I, I don't think we're probably going to get into too much, but, but when is the next summit? When, the, when do we want this to be? Um, there was some brief discussion about trying to co-locate with Battle Mesh. Um, I don't know if we have the time to do that, um, cause I, that's coming up, I believe in May or April. Um, I, I don't, would rather not rush. Um, we also kind of had some people that, 
it's it was about 75 percent people said no this should be once a year um but there is value in having it more often certainly you know getting people together more often i mean what what do people think um i i the other side of that is is are we going to have you know the do we have enough sponsors to do that i'm not sure that what, what the purple budget is on that and we can um, i have to look into it um but there's certainly you know you're basically doubling the cost at that point. Um, um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, okay. So uh, first apologies for being late and being uh, semi-present on the meeting. Uh, but yeah, a lot of things going on. Anyway, uh, on this topic, I've been uh, preaching to art to organize Asian Summit in uh, Taiwan because there is a lot of like companies using OpenWRT there and uh, yeah nobody goes there and it's just I mean the conference in nutshell for that uh, part of the world would be I guess different maybe not the same topics of interest would be uh, um, interesting to the audience there but uh, I would definitely like if we go with two to have something there. I think it would make a lot of sense for businesses and companies who are located in there. That's it. Thank you. I think you were going to say something, Kathy? Um, yeah, I was thinking when you mentioned Battle Mesh, uh, maybe an event like that where you've got at least some core critical mass and the, the event is using open diversity and so forth that uh, maybe we could do one of these um, dev sprint mini summit, a combination dev sprint on some topic that people want to hack on and the idea of whoever is there from open WRT could have a Q&A because you have people who are sort of outside the core team and if you can bring in some people who are part of the core team um, or just participate and do a lot of work on OpenWRT that they can, uh, there can be a basically a, a one or two hour session where they just talk. It's just Q&A. Like people who know a little more and people who know a little less and, and people who want to have questions answered. So it could be a battle mesh mini summit, you know, like a again a purple sponsored mini something rather. Yeah, I think that think that that from you know there certainly is a reduced cost there. I know purple in the past has sponsored battle mesh, um, and that's not a fair, not a very you know expensive sponsorship. So I mean, it's not necessarily something that purple can't do um, by any means um, yeah and and Luca I I think the idea of Asia is a really great idea um, my biggest fear is that we have so few people that are already participating from Asia um, at the same time it, it's an awesome idea because I think I would completely agree with you that that if we can get the people there and we get the you know get the right organizer and, and we get all that stuff right it's going to be a great idea because there's going to be people in that area that are just hungry for this knowledge because open wrt is clearly used on so many different types of devices that are coming out of out of uh taiwan and china and uh in, in that part of the world can we do it yeah can we do it in taipei where there's just tons of odms and uh well, a lot of developers that therefore use um, Open Number T for the well, well, yeah products yeah. that they produce. I mean, what we need is somebody who is in Taipei, for example, who works for one of these companies to organize the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it, it we're that that's yeah that's kind of what I yeah what I you know what I mean is that yeah we're very dependent upon um, local people. In, in Asia because we have so few people from that part of the world. It's not a bad thing, it's just we need to know who those people are. So, 
Are there any other thoughts uh, on this, <clears throat> Luca? Uh, I don't know. So we, I have not been involved in organizing such an event except participating uh, on, on this meeting. So I don't really know what it takes to make a good event, but well, the key thing is, do you, know, uh -huh. do, you know, do you know people in Asia who could do it? Uh, I know people who I could ask, but I know, don't know if they would actually deliver <laughs> the end of the day, so I don't know how much that, that would help. I know that they, they could say that uh, they can help, but whether they could deliver it's another. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't hurt to ask and just see because maybe they can uh, organize support. You know, they as individuals aren't gonna make it happen, but they want it to. If they if they're passionate about helping make it happen, then we could coordinate with finding other resources to help make it happen. Um, I could ask, but uh, I don't know whether these persons would be interested and or if they could deliver at the end of the day. So I just would like to avoid being on the hook if I like make introductions or yeah, something different. So Luca, I don't think anyone's gonna blame you on this uh -huh. one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're but, being conservative here. Yes. Do, uh, uh, nobody's uh, worried about it's that. Us, it's yeah. us uh, Eastern Europeans. Yeah, that's the mindset. Anyway, um if I think it would be valuable because when you think how much devices leave Asia to entire world with OpenWRT on it, it's just from that point of view, having a conference there makes sense. So it's at least it would be valuable to try it out. Now I don't know which topics would be interested to the audience there. Maybe the same topics, maybe not. I, I don't know. I don't know even how to approach this like market in such a way. So, yeah, yeah. I, it's I, like it's like you are. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you are uh, selling uh, products to uh, farmers who have a lot of cows, and then uh, you don't go to a country in U.S. which has a, the most cows in the world, or you don't go to Brazil where they have lots of cows. It's just, you know, doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think I think you bring up some, it's a good point. I mean, we, we're in this, this kind of like conundrum that we all know that there is probably interest, but we have so little um, insight into the, you know, that that area of the world yeah. and what their interests are that it's almost like we need to have that one person who can be like okay you can kind of get us to the understanding to be comfortable to say yeah we can do it there um, if, uh, okay let, so if if we as a group decide that okay that's interesting what would be the obvious next step like to find somebody to contact there or like what yeah. The next, uh -huh. Yeah, we need someone who's there who would like to see this happen. Can so okay. So if I find this person, to whom do I need to connect this person to? To Eric, you, and then you will also yeah. get involved. Yeah. Yeah. Introduce them to Eric and I, and we can have a conversation. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I have a call tomorrow uh, with one person from Taiwan and I can bring this topic to him and then report back if I have something to report back. But yeah, also Kati, you know Terry has a team in Taiwan so I don't know whether you know he would like to do something, I don't know. Yeah, possibility. I mean definitely, there. like you say, there is a ton of companies who put open the tea on a box and put it somebody else's brand on it and it gets shipped around the world. So <laughs> there's yeah. gotta be people out there that that care about this. And the other side from the improving quality side of uh, of open WRT devices, 
this it's kind of an exciting idea because we all know that you're getting to the people who are actually developing the software to put on the box. Um, and if they're doing OpenWRT right, that, that's, I think, valuable for everybody. All right, well, we are actually to our time. Um, do we want to set up a time for the next meeting, or, 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 or do we just want to discuss on the mailing list and then kind of to see, see when we think the next meeting should be? Yeah, probably, I mean, next meeting could be January, probably. Okay. How about um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, set up a doodle for early in January, and then we can decide on a time and go from there. Then we'll also discuss, obviously, on the list, the list of uh, committees or responsibilities and, and do that in the meantime. Yeah, that's a good idea. Over the mailing list, come up with the committees where we need, or the topic areas where we need extra people. Okay. Great. It's a good, good call. Yep. Sounds good, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming, and uh, talk to you next time, and talk to you on the list. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Good, thank you. Oh, bye bye. Bye. Thank you.